Rochelle Jones and I'm with NBTV and we're here at the American Black Film Festival Buzz Party and I'm going to take you inside. We're going to meet some of the filmmakers and see what's going on and what all the buzz is all about. Let's go. Okay, Envy Magazine, you know we have the complete buzz when I have um, when I have you right here in front of me, right? <laughs> Jeff is the CEO of the ABFF. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Doing this great. is a great event. So how long has the ABFF been around? Uh, this is our 13th year. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in 1997, and we really never knew that this would be as big as it is. Okay. The first year we had about 100 people there, and we just thought we'd get a few people together to celebrate movies. Mm -hmm. Now, 13 years later, we have 3,000 people, and it's, it's been going great. That's yeah. great. Getting Congratulations. Getting a lot of love from the industry, you know, film fa filmmakers, film fans, as well as like the celebrity community in Hollywood. So mm -hmm. could, couldn't be better, actually. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing, the, all the work that you've done. And you're here, you're in Miami this year, right? Yes, we're going back to Miami. We went to, um, we did five years in Acapulco. <laughs> then we went to uh, Miami for five years, went to L.A. for two years, and everybody said, back to Miami. Right. <laughs> so I got emails and nasty letters and everything about, you know, going back to the sun, you know. Right. So we're back in the, uh, South Beach uh -huh. uh, this June. It should be a lot of fun. How are African-American women getting more involved in film? Uh, well, I think one of the things that I like is that black women are getting more quality roles. Mm -hmm. What I don't like about what I'm seeing is there's not a lot of progress in terms of quant the quantity of roles. And what it really boils down to is many of the scripts being produced by Hollywood do not feature black women in leading roles. And there's a perception that a black woman can't open a movie. That, you know, obviously Will Smith and Eddie Murphy and, and Jamie Foxx get their movies, uh, but there's not a lot of women who basically headline movies. And I, I think that's one of the misconceptions about the, the drawing power of black women that Angela Bassett can't headline a movie. And it's just one of the things that, you know, it hasn't, in the, in the 13 years I've been involved in this business, that's the one area where I don't think there's been a lot of growth, to be very honest, to be very honest with you. And the film festival is June? Uh, June 24th to the 27th in South Beach. And if people need, want to come, uh, um, how can we ABFF, find that? The, the website is abff.com. Um, registration is open until May 8th. We're almost sold out. Okay. Thank God. So if you want to come, it's time to make the move now. ABFF.com. Okay, well, thank you for talking thank to us. So Envy, we got the buzz. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, Envy Magazine, we're here, and I have a lot of buzz right in front of me. Uh, we're here with Rashad and Melanie. She's the director of the Black African American Film Festival. And Dolly, tell us what you're involved with here with the film festival. Okay, so I work in sponsorship and marketing for the American Black Film Festival. And HBO is one of our sponsors, and they have a fantastic uh, short film award that they've done for 13 years, and Rashad was the winner. And how did it feel to, to win the overall contest? I mean, that's hot. Yeah, it was, ab it was absolutely wonderful. Um, not only was it a wonderful monetary award, but it was great to find my, my film family, I think, that's going to last me for years to come. Tell us about the film festival this year. I know it's in Miami. It's in June, June 20th. 24th to the 27th. Um, so it's kind of like four full packed days. Our typical pattern used to be Thursday to Sunday, and this year it's a little bit shifted a little different. We're opening on a Wednesday, and Saturday will actually be the last day of, of activity. But we hope, we've, we've had a, a tremendous turnout already of all the pre-registrants. Considering the current state of the economy, we were very nervous. Naturally, as with most business models, um, everybody's suffering under the current you know, climate. So we're really pleased to have such a great turnout. I mean, even as you can see from tonight, you know, people that really celebrate black cinema. I have the ambassador to the ABFF, Sia Moses. Tell me, I mean, what's going on here tonight? And so we're here with lots of filmmakers and, you know, models, actors, directors, writers, industry people. We're trying to get it done. So. You know, the ABFF, how are you involved? I know you're the ambassador, but yeah. they just chose you this year as the ambassador, is that they correct? They chose me this year as the ambassador, which I was really pleased about that. And, um, and That's huge. It's huge. I mean, I was very happy about it. And basically, it's been something where it's been such an honor because of the filmmakers that they have and the fact it's sponsored partly by HBO. And we have so many different movies that are coming out and everything. So for me to kind of be so enthusiastic about it, I didn't even have to think when they asked me. I was like, OK, I'll do it. All right, Envy Magazine, I'm here with some great buzz. I know you all have heard of Harlem Heights, and I'm here with Pierre Downing, mm -hmm. one of the What's main, up? main guys on Harlem Heights. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm good. good, good. Excited to be here at ABFF. Yeah. This is a good look. So 
what are you doing with ABFF? I mean, are you planning on doing any films or are you a director? Or, I know well, you're an actor. I've always had a taste for acting and drama and theater. Um, a lot of people know this, but in college I minored in theater, so you know, I've, I kind of love being on stage and Harlem Heights was just like a precipice, hopefully maybe one day to do that, but it's just like I'm a newbie to it all. So. And how did you uh, come about being cast onto Harlem Heights? How did that work out? Uh, Randolph Serup is the executive producer and creator of the show, along with Kurt Williamson. Uh, I met at a different event and he just talked to me about the concept and how it could influence young black America in a positive light. And so I jumped onto it and then I ended up knowing a few of the cast members from basketball, Christian, Landon, and um, next thing you know, I was on the show, so. This is Jeff Friday, you're watching NVTV. What's your vision?